Hello, my name is Daniel, and in this video, what we're going to be doing is implementing the back button into the app. So before anything else, let me just show you why we need to do this. So let me run the application. Bam, this is what we have so far. And then if we go to the About app, it's going to take us to the screen. Sweet, that's exactly what we wanted. But now, what if we wanted to go back to the previous screen that we want? We can press, at least on the desktop right now, we can press the Escape key. That would emulate the back button. And so now I'm going to press it and it should take us back to the previous screen, right? Well, bam, I just pressed it and it just exited the application. So what's going on is that Kiwi thinks that since we didn't do any type of setup for this to handle the back button, it just thinks, oh, he's pressing the escape key. Uh, that means he ha wants to quit the app. But we actually, we don't want to quit the app. We only want to quit when there's nothing to go back to. No more screens that we can previously go to. So let's go fix that. So let me just get out of here. And then where we're going to go is uh, to the constructor of the Kiwi to the root. And then we're going to create a list that's going to hold all the screens that we have previously, previously visited. So list of previous screens, just like that. Nothing too fancy. And then self.list. Uh, uh, let's just do screen list. Yeah, screen list equals an empty list of course all right cool now on the change screen method right here uh, we're gonna go right after the question one and we're gonna add something let, let me just first add it and then I'll explain it you guys will probably be able to understand maybe if not I'll just explain it so self dot IDs dot uh, QB screen manager dot current not in self dot screen list oops oh, come on screen list and self that screen list out of pen slash uh, let me just copy all of this oops okay cool so basically if you don't know this this is uh, let me write it in the comment because comments are awesome so if screen is not already in the list of previous screens so misspellings but who cares so okay, if the screen that we're going to, that we just passed, is not in the list of previous screens, then just add it. That way we can go back to it whenever we press the back button. Alright, so cool. Now we're handling all of this. But now, um, this only handles, um, this just saves the screens to a list. There's not, We're not doing anything with the list yet. So basically what we need to do is create a function, that a method actually, since we're inside a class, that will do all of this for us. So. Let's create a method called def uh, on back button. Let's just call it like that. And let's write some comments before I type anything. Check if there are any screens to go back to. All right, cool. So there's self that screen list. So if there's still something to go back to, it, this should be true. If there's not, it would just skip over it. But for now, let's do this. Let's do this first. So now if there oops there yeah if there are screens we can go back to then just do it just do it just do it let me get rid of that so self that ids not current equals self dot screen list dot pop so this is saying so this is saying a hey, screen manager the current one, the current screen that I want you to be showing is the last screen that we visited. So that's what the pop is for. The pop just gets rid of the last item from the list and returns it. So we just need to do that and the list is updated and so is the key and the screen manager. So two birds, no, what is it? Kill two birds with one stone or whatever? Yeah, whatever. All right, moving on. Say we don't want to close. Simple as that. And the way we do that is return true. And right now you guys see what well, this function is being called. And no more screens to go back to. So we say we don't want to close. No more screens to go to go back to. And right now we're gonna use this method. And where we're gonna call this method, use it, is in the app. Wait, where am I? Uh, LS, okay. So now go to your Kiwi Tutor application. And in the constructor uh, 2, this is what you're going to put. 
we can do oh actually before you do this we have to import a library that we're just about to use so sorry about that let's go to the top let's do from from kiwi dot uh, what is it dot core dot window import window ah look at that sweet so now once we do that so remember once we import this line we can go back to where we were and let's continue window dot spine I believe yes why is there no autocomplete why is there no autocomplete oh wait whatever hopefully I'm typing it right so on keyboard and that's what it's gonna be self dot on back button so now I don't want you guys to get confused so I'm saying self dot um on back button this is for the Kiwi Tutor app application itself, um, not the root widget. So we're gonna create one right now. It's gonna be death, um, death, death um, on back button self. No, it's actually gonna take a couple. It's gonna take a window. It's gonna take the key and it's gonna take the arguments and there you go oh my god args there you go so let me just type this real quick so we're binding the window we're saying a this is just basically what it's saying a whenever there's a key press I want you to run this method and uh, and check if we want to close or not so let's see so let's see def on back button yes uh, user presses back button this is what's gonna happen back button button so key equals 27 so the equivalent the uh, numerical code for the back press is 27 so if that happens then we're gonna call self dot root dot on back button so okay so this one is saying run this method that belongs to this class so it's gonna run this one and then this says run the root method from the root class you're gonna run this method so that's the class that we created on the Kiwi tutor uh, root root class so it's this one mm, that one that's the one we created so don't get confused all right um I think that's it so let me go check with the terminal so now we run it and we go over this and we press the escape key moment of truth oh yes bam goes back and I press it again bam yep look at that so now if I press it right now it should exit the applications because there are no more screens to go back to so if I press it again bam exactly just like that so sweet that's basically it man um yeah all right 